Hi, glad you're here. You know, this is really exciting. Winter's almost over, the weather's starting to get warm. I plan to go to the park this Saturday. It's going to rain all day. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I know how we can improve this. Transition words. So stick around and let's see how we can use transition words to make the relationship between these ideas clear. Hi, welcome back to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. So let's go back to those ideas at the start. Did I want to go to the park because it's supposed to rain? Or did I want to go but it's supposed to rain? The relationship between these ideas is ambiguous. I could be saying two very different things. To make the relationship clear, we can use a transition or transition words. In this case, I could say this. I wanted to go to the park this weekend, but it's supposed to rain all day. Ah, but it's a transition word. It shows there's a relationship of conflict or contradiction between these two ideas. This also works. I wanted to go to the park this weekend. However, it's supposed to rain all day. How about this? Although I wanted to go to the park this weekend, it's supposed to rain all day. Huh. I could even say this. I wanted to go to the park this weekend, period. Then I introduce the conflicting idea. Nevertheless, it's supposed to rain all day. All these sentences express the same thing. Why are there so many ways of expressing the same thing, though? We had a video about this recently. Word choice. Let's say you're writing a long paragraph and you want to express opposition between several ideas. You don't want to repeat yourself saying, but, 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 everywhere. No problem. You can choose from among many transition words that express the same thing and avoid repetition. So, transition words show the relationship between ideas, but aren't there many possible relationships? Yes, and there's a transition word for each of these relationships. You can go to many websites, like this one, and you can see a long list of them. Let's connect these ideas using transition words that show their relationships. When we see photos of outer space, we are struck by its beauty. Space is a deadly place for humans. A person cannot survive more than a few seconds in the vacuum of space. Cosmic radiation damages DNA, affects the central nervous system, and causes cancer. Space travel for long periods of time is impossible at the moment because astronauts would not survive the trip. Ugh, this is confusing. Let's see. This first statement is very positive, but the second statement is actually negative, so there's a contradiction. Easy, we just saw this type of relationship. The next idea... Oh, it's an example of how deadly space can be for humans. How about this? Good. The next idea... Um, well... That's another example of how deadly space is. You're just adding this to the first. The relationship is addition. Good. Now it's clear we have an example. Then another example is added here. The last idea, well, this idea shows the consequence of all of the above information. So how about this? Perfect. Do you see how these transition words work? You get ideas that are related and use transition words to connect the ideas and show what the relationship is between them. Transition words are very useful in writing. They help make your ideas flow between sentences and between paragraphs. Let's say the next paragraph was Scientists have come up with creative ideas to protect astronauts in space, and so forth. Well, the first paragraph says space travel is impossible right now. This next paragraph is actually saying it's not all bad news. We can use a transition here to connect the paragraphs. This shows the contrast between all of the first paragraph 
and the second paragraph. Now, when you read, it's very important to pay attention to transition words very closely. This way you understand not only the ideas themselves, but how they are connected. There's a lot more we could say about transitions, but let's make this an overview video. Look at the descriptions below the video for additional materials. Don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe to our channel. And until the next time, thank you for stopping by and watching this video.